Hello, my friends. Okay, so I actually have quite a bit to tell you. That's why I'm just kind of sitting here because it's sort of, it's kind of windy out here right now and it keeps raining on and off. But I've got my outdoor umbrella right here just in case. And, um, but I got to tell you guys some stuff. Okay, first, okay, my aunt showed up yesterday to hang, to hang out with me and stuff and that was really cool. And then we took off and we went over to Christmas Valley because we wanted to grab some chicken, boneless chicken strips, and we were going to make dinner. And on our way back, and I already uploaded one video, two videos. I only took like three videos. I was only able to get like three videos of it. And I had to use her phone because my phone was at home charging because she forgot her charger and all that kind of stuff. So we'd been charging all of her stuff on my charger and then when by the time it got to where we were leaving my phone was like eight percent so I was like I'm just gonna leave it here on the charger so big mistake anyway so I used her phone and I've just been sending myself through text messages the um video the footage that I was able to get anyway we saw a big dead coyote on the side of the road and it, it's one of the bigger coyotes that I've seen in a long time I don't think I've even seen anything that big they usually don't get that big and it was definitely a fresh hit like maybe somebody had just winged had just hit it and there was a big bald eagle just ripping it apart when we when and our car was the only road for only car we'd seen for a long time was us we hadn't seen anything and we blew past it and I was no way we flipped around went back and that video that I had uploaded all the cows on the one side of the road were pressed up against the fence watching that bald eagle eat that coyote and then the bald eagle like I caught the video of it flying off like if you slow that that short down you can see the dead coyote. It's like right there. And then the eagle flies out and then it circles back around and lands on the coyote. And we went up and I turned back around. And I got a couple more videos. Uh, you know, not that great. But I uploaded the best two that I thought was the cows watching it. And then the eagle flying off as we were driving by. And then I've got a couple more that I'm going to try to upload. Okay, so then I come home and I was freaking out because it looked like it was like a junior, like maybe that eagle's maybe like can't be older than two or three. Like I think it's only like a maybe one, two, three at the most. And then today we took off to go to Lapine so I can go to Habitat for Humanity. Give a shout out to my friend Rick. I know that I talk about them usually in the summertime on those videos, but it is one of my favorite places to go. Well, on our way there, I see another bald eagle. And I was like, no way. And it, to me, it looked like it might have been the same one, but it was a cup. It was a good 10 miles from the, the last one that I had seen from the night before. And I was going to stop and get a video of it, but then I was just like, eh. It wasn't a really good spot. You can't really see. So we take off and we go to Lapine. And while I'm in Lapine, uh, oh, I need my, sorry about that. I need my orange juice. While we were in Lapine, um, I stopped at, I had to pick up some supplies and stuff like that. And then we, I went over to Habitat for Humanity because remember I was talking about how I wanted to get ski poles? No kidding. Rick cut me a deal. I paid three bucks for them. And they're super nice ones. And I've decided instead of doing what I thought I was going to do with the ski poles I'm and the skis, you know how I have the skis out over here? I don't know. I can't really see what you guys are seeing. But the, the skis are over here in this area. I was going to put bamboo running across so that the cucumbers can grow up like that. But I think I'm going to use the ski poles. 
because I got a matching set. And I've never, those are like my first time. I've only ever seen them on TV. I know you're thinking, what? You lived in Reno. I've never on purpose skied. Never on purpose. I have skied on my feet down a mini of streets, hills, like not necessarily meaning to. Like I used to skate down my um, driveway because it would turn into a sheet of ice on my feet or you know of course running around the house and then you hit that kitchen and you just let it slide i am very guilty of skiing through the kitchen because that's you know what i always felt like the kitchen was really for was you know that quick so i was pretty cool i checked them out and i was like these are definitely going to be way cooler than the bamboo that going across it'll be more authentic they're like purple, so they're not like the exact color, but they're the more of the shorter side, but not too short because they did have a bunch of short ones. But I think that they're the right ones for me. So I was pretty happy about that. And then what else did I get there? Oh, yeah, I have to go back and get it. I got one of those ice cream tables. It's got like heart chairs. It's so cute. It's like a little breakfast nook looking thing, but it has broad iron chairs and their hearts like the it's broad iron with the design as the heart. It's really nice. I got it for 35 bucks. It was a good deal. I was happy. Anyway, and give a shout out to my friend Rick because he's always hooking me up. Remember I told you he got me the I got the that boat. Um dock box boat dock box I don't know what to call it but I got that there and I, I paid like 50 bucks for it and I love that thing if they get another one in I would definitely buy that one too I really like it for my outside um, garden stuff it's just really nice and handy to keep things in it when I'm out there working or just quickly put stuff away. It works great. Also great storage in the wintertime when I tear most everything down. I tried to look for some yard lights. It wasn't happening. I didn't see a single one that I thought would work out. Anyway, those eagles. I think it's the same eagle. I know I've seen it three separate times. I did catch a video on the way back. But I don't think it's three different eagles. If anything, it could possibly be two different eagles, probably from the same nest. Because they all look around the same. It all looks, they generally look the same size. And they're pretty small compared to the eagle that I've seen. Like up close and personal in Bandon. That one is huge. He is huge. Like he's like almost four feet. Like, he's massive. Three, four feet. Like, he's massively tall. And his wingspan is horrendous. He's scary. When he lands, it's a thump. These ones are pretty good size. But they're not that big. They're not like that one in Bandon. Up on that green bridge. They're nothing like him. But now that I've seen uh, those that eagle out here, I think that I've seen a female that flies around that I thought was was a hawk because it's I've never gotten that close to it or like I always see it way off in a distance and you just kind of like see the shadow I think that might be a female eagle now that I look back on it so I'm going to pay closer attention when I'm in the garden this spring because it'll fly over and all I can feel is like a shadow go over me like a big shadow and I'll look up because I've only the only time I've ever felt that was when this big, huge owl did that to me one night. And luckily my landlord lived behind me and he was standing on his porch. And I was in the backyard and something swooped over me and I kind of ducked and I looked around. Didn't see anything. And then he screamed for me to run. And so I just took off running towards the woods because I didn't know like he just said run so I figured whatever was in front of me that's what I was running for 
So I ran uh, towards the woods and he screamed no. And then when I, when he screamed no, I kind of like made a left turn and <laughs> went around the side of his house and then came in his back door because I didn't know what to do. And then like, I'm like, what, what, what? It was an owl. He said an, it was a big, huge barn owl, I guess, that was swooping down on me. And I had like, I was wearing a, a hood that had like a fur rim on it. It was a black hood with a gray fur uh, hood that was, and then I had a beanie on and stuff. And I don't know, I guess I was like small enough that he thought he could, I don't know. It freaked me out. I don't even know why we're on that embarrassing story. Because I look like a psychopath coming in his back door. But we'll go out and we'll look at these. And then we'll end this because it's starting to sprinkle again. And I already watered down my cheap orange juice that I had to buy. So, but these are... Okay, I am the most paranoid person. I thought I saw something just move over there in my flower bed. But maybe not. Maybe it's just the leaves. I don't know. But that is the, um, I don't know, Scott Precision. I don't know if like that means anything. I don't really care. But those are the ski poles I got. I'm going to put them sideways. My aunt ended up bringing a bunch of yard, old yard stuff that we used to have together. And this is some of the stuff. I, I got to put it in. I painted these old. This is embarrassing. I painted these old, these chickens. Like, if you go way back in the beginning of my garden videos, you will see them. They're we're embarrassing. I did a terrible job. So, mm hmm Yeah, I got to find a spot. Homes for those. See, you can see that it's raining a little bit. And it looks like Bruce. Don't bar no barking. Oh, it's starting to come down. All right, you guys. Oh, want to give a shout out tribute to not too very. I'm using my friend's cup. I have like a set, and I've been using them. And I decided to wear my friend's sockies. I have another pair that say, "How you do." <laughs> like I love my aunt got them for me all right <laughs> anyway look at there's Bruce I'm gonna say goodbye upload this video and thanks for watching don't forget to like share subscribe and do all that good stuff it's always appreciated oh, Bruce just dropped his ball that's him saying he puts it on here and then it rolls off and then he chases it himself yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys.